it got so bad that one night I, um, I had seriously considered ending my life and I tried. But seeing the pain that I was causing, seeing the pain that I was causing my parents and my family and friends, the potential pain of I mean, struggling alone. It is, you do have your own life and you can live your life, but you also have a responsibility to the people around you um, that your life really does matter much more than you think. If we talk amongst each other and be straightforward and just talk about our, feel, uh, talk about our feelings with, with one another, especially the people that you trust, I do believe, uh, I do believe that there could be like a curve a lot of times we'll think about depression and other mental health issues as some other community's problem, some community that's less strong. Each succeeding generation of Blacks are becoming more susceptible to the forces that lead them to consider suicidal behavior. So it was like little steps of me coming out of the depression, little steps of me coming out of the anxiety. It was literally like a roller coaster those years, that post-grad year. That post-grad year, it was literally up and down, up and down, a little step here, a few steps back, a little step here, a few steps back. Black people and minorities all over the country are suffering somehow. And let's face it, when it comes to uh, when it comes to people like us, we don't we don't really talk about it a lot, and we also don't talk uh, and we also don't talk about it. And I find that very uh, I find that very frustrating. Directed by David Brown. Let's break the stigma. Available now.